Hey there, Tom Romeo from PCS, part of the Azure Learning Experience. Um, as you see, we're at the All Services, and I'm going to type in Availability and go to Availability Sets because this section is all about creating a new availability set. Availability sets are used for any kind of redundancy that you might need. So, for example, if you wanted to set up a network load balancer uh, for IIS, uh, you would need everything that's associated with that uh, load balancing setup to be part of the same availability set. And as you can see, there's not a lot of prompts here. It's just another grouping that Azure uses for um, the purposes of that kind of redundancy. Uh, so that's it. It's quite simple. It's created. And did you also notice that the availability set is a member of the resource group? that we created earlier. So now going forward, every virtual machine that we create is going to be a member of that resource group and a member of this availability set. So if in the future I need to create a load balancer, um, it's very simple. I don't have to redo anything. I can just continue with all my deployments and then add it on and decide which virtual machines are members of that group. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can download all of our software from our website.